What's going on everyone? My name's Duncan Man and today I'm bringing you a, a replay of an NU battle I had just a little while ago today. Um, using the same team that I probably used in a couple of my last uploads or at least one of them. Uh, you might recognize it, you might not. But it was a really fun battle and I got to let some of the um, star players of this team or ones that I think should be stars let them shine a little bit. So uh, I'm going to lead off with my Ludicolo expecting pretty much anything on his team I could really handle it. He leads, he leads with his ditto, and um, I just want to pause right here and say that I'm pretty sure I could have handled his ditto posing as my Ludicolo, uh, just judging by the fact that my Ludicolo has full special attack investment um, and full HP, but no special defense. Um, and with ditto's terrible HP, it wouldn't be taking my hits very well anyway, but I also am carrying the Assault Vest, which I'm sure he's just carrying the Choice Scarf. So I was pretty much... Uh, sure to win a battle against that particular ditto um, and I actually make the move of going for Whirlpool here trying to trap it and get rid of it turn one but he actually makes, makes a switch into Vile Plume expecting a grass type move probably a Giga Drain from me um, which is really fortunate because now I've trapped Vile Plume this really big threat really big defensive threat and I can kill it with two ice beams. There's no way it could have recovered or anything like that and tried to stall me out because Whirlpool is going to do consistent damage. And then I am faster, so Ice Beam just cleans it out in two hits, which is just a blessing in disguise because that thing would have actually ruled my team pretty hard otherwise, except for my Mesprit. Still, he goes into his Zangos here to scare out my Ludicolo, and I switch into Pelipper thinking this thing is just. Massively bulky. It can probably take a hit from Zangoose, but I was actually kind of wrong Because that was a normal unboosted facade and it did 30% The next facade's just gonna take him out. Zangoose with Toxic Orb is incredibly powerful and uh, I didn't even get to use mine in this battle. Just a spoiler, I guess, but it, it's so powerful if you can get that Toxic Orb set up uh, Which is why Protect is actually quite useful on it, but I don't run it I run quick attack instead. Um, so he switches out of his Zangoose as I switch into my Dragalge, who I assume can take a facade, at least one, fire off a pretty strong sludge wave. But he wants Lantern to take the hit just so that, um, you know, I mean, it's it's a special defensive wall. He might as well not risk any more time with his Zangoose in there. He knows it's valuable. So he T waves my Dragalge, perhaps expecting me to switch, expecting me to do something else, who knows. But I just stay in, go for another Sludge Wave, and get a little more damage off. And he switches back into his Ditto, who takes the Sludge Wave really well. And uh, right here, I predict him to want to go for the Dragon Pulse, or maybe even the, uh, the Sludge Wave, uh, for whatever reason, expecting me to switch out. Um, but I, I do switch into my Mesprit, who I know can take any hit from my Dragology, since it's uninvested completely. And um, at that point, I would be able to fire off a really strong Psy Shock, and nothing on his team. This is Life Orb. Nothing on his team really wants to take two Psy Shots. So he actually makes a good play here though. And um, he goes into his Lantern who does take one. And he can go for the Protect here to see what I'm going to do. I do have Energy Ball on this uh, Mesprit. But I didn't figure it was worth going for because there are still a lot more things on his team that could switch into an Energy Ball. Um, and I didn't want to reveal it until I had to. So. Uh, he actually makes a double, or I guess sort of a double switch out into his his own ditto here, which becomes a Mesprit. Can take my Psy Shock really well because of Mesprit's good natural bolt and um, retaliate with a Signal Beam. And I see that coming, so Salt Vest Gramble gets to make an appearance and just, I mean, he just swallows the Signal Beam. <laughs> just completely swallows it. He had no chance of hurting me there, basically unless he had gone for Psy Shock. But now I know he's locked into it, so I can fire off a strong player up. Again, this is something that nothing on his team wants to take. And um, he's just going to fodder off his Lantern because he doesn't see any more use for it. And that gives me the 5-3, five, 5-4 five, advantage, excuse me. He goes into his Ditto here and very predictably uses it as a way to intimidate my Granbull, which is fine. I get to switch out now and um, go into my Ludicolo. I wanted it to be fodder if he went for player up here, um, but he actually goes for the Earthquake predicting my Dragology to come in and that means that if he's locked into it I can fire off a pretty powerful Scald here uh, and maybe do some big damage to the Ditto or whatever wants to come in 
Um, and as it turns out, I get a crit burn on Slurpuff, and it has a red card and switches me out back into my Granbull, who I thought would be useful because this might be an attacking Slurpuff, and it just got completely boned. But no, it's actually uh, a special Slurpuff, which is becoming more popular these days. But since my Granbull is Assault Fest, he takes it super well, less than 30%, fires off a Play Rough, and um, gets rid of the Ditto, which is, or excuse me, the Slurpuff, which is just great. Now, I know I can't take a hit from Zangoose, and I'd like to keep my Granbull around for the Girder. So I just fought her off my Ludicolo here, knowing that it won't be able to do, do a whole lot of work against the rest of his team, unless he brought the Ditto back in on it. Um, and that would be okay. But Zangoose just kills it off with a Facade, takes a little bit of poison damage. And now I decide to go into my Granbull, and this is probably the most important play. I decided to go into my Granbull for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, Dragalge is paralyzed and he, he might not be missing any health, but I don't want to deal with Paralysis messing up my chance to kill Zangoose, you know, because it will two-hit KO my Dragalge, but um, if I get paralyzed on that first turn and I'm not able to get off a Sludge Wave, then it'll keep wrecking my team. So uh, I want to get the in Intimidate off here just for that reason, because at, at that rate I know pretty much everything on my team will be able to live a hit. But more importantly, I know that this will also cause Simbo to want to switch out because he doesn't want to try and sweep with a minus one attack Zangoose, um, especially not when he has the opportunity to save it for later. So what he's going to do, and this is what I predict him to do, is go into his Ditto in order to do what he did before, and this may sound confusing, but he switches into Ditto to turn into Gramble and intimidate my Gramble before it can do any considerable damage. And I sat here for a while trying to figure out what should I do. Should I pull a double into Mesprit to try and mess it up? Or what? You know, or should I go for the um, Play Rough? Or should I go for the Earthquake? You know, or not the Earthquake. I don't have any reason to do that. But, you know, should I go for it or not? It was my question. And after a while, I decided I would switch into Mesprit. Because, as you're going to see here, he's going to get intimidated, switch out, go into his Ditto, which does, of course, turn into my Gramble and intimidates me and since I decided to switch into my Mesprit I'm able to get that advantage on him and uh, really put him in a position because again there's nothing on his team that wants to switch into a Psy Shock so what he's going to do is let his Ditto die here which is perfectly fine again with me because um, it caused me a lot of trouble by being able to switch in and out and if it could switch in on my Zangoose later that would be horrible so um, right here I go for the Psy Shock on the Zangoose not really expecting to outspeed it because while I am timid, I'm only base 80 and I know that Zangoose is base 90, so he must be running adamant or not max speed, uh, which is by both are fine with me because uh, that means he dies to poison damage after I go for the Psy Shock, and that leaves just his Girder to face off against my own Zangoose and my Gramble and my Dragalge, and the latter two um, I don't really think he can touch unless he has Ice Punch. But I do get the Intimidate off with my Gramble, go for the super effective play rough and do a solid 70%, uh, whereas he goes for the Drain Punch and does about 14. Um, and at this point he basically realizes he loses and he just leaves, he doesn't forfeit, he just lets me sit there for another minute and contemplate how I just stomped him. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this battle, you know, let me know, tell me what you thought about it in the comments, and uh, that's pretty much it, so I'll catch you guys all later. Peace!